The biome, the tundra. The habitat, treeless. The tundra is recognized for its frosty landscapes, low temperature, poor nutrients, and short growing season due to permafrost, a layer of permanently frozen ground just below the surface. There are about 1,700 kinds of plants in the tundra. They are all a variety of low shrubs, sedges, reindeer mosses, liverworts, lichen, and grasses. There are also about 400 varieties of flowering plants. There is also a small range of fauna that call the tundra home. Herbivorous mammals include lemmings, voles, caribou, arctic hares, and squirrels. The well-known predators are the arctic foxes, wolves, and polar bears. Migratory birds also need the tundra. Birds such as ravens, snow buntings, and falcons to name a few. The birds come for the large amount of insects that are brought on by summer in the tundra, when large swampy areas are created by the melting of the winter snow. You may ask what the importance of the tundra is if it is covered in snow and seemingly devoid of life half the year. Well, the tundra is a carbon dioxide sink. A carbon dioxide sink is a biomass which takes in more carbon dioxide than it releases. In other words, the tundra naturally takes care of carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas that humans tend to mass produce. The extremely cold temperatures make it a difficult environment to survive in during the winter, and plants and animals have a hard time coping with any extra stresses and disturbances. More people moving to the tundra to work in the mines and oil rigs have created towns and more roads. Some animals' movements to traditional feeding and denning grounds have been disrupted by these obstacles. Pesticides have been used to control the hordes of insects. Thousands of migrating birds come to the tundra because of the abundant insects. Through the food chain, the pesticides reach many of the animals that live on the tundra. With the global rise in temperature, the tundra is releasing carbon back into the atmosphere. To help, learn the facts. Write to your local representatives addressing the issue. Be attentive to the amount of gasoline you're using. Walk to the store, walk to work. Small steps can lead to big change.